I call the member for Balmain. Thank you very much, Madam Temporary Speaker. I rise today to speak on the 10,000 signature petition, which opposes the relocation of Gosford Public School onto the grounds of Henry Kendall High School, and requests an alternative site be provided that meets the range of criteria. I wanted to start, Mr. Madam Temporary Speaker, by thanking those people who signed the petition and all of those who worked to collect the 10,000 signatures. This is an initiative of the new government, which I acknowledge, and it's something which the community has taken to with great fervour. I acknowledge the work in particular today of Gosford Public Action Group, and in particular I want to thank those people like Deb Westacott, the teachers, parents, students, members from the PNC and the wider community. Of particular interest in this matter because the former member for Balmain was the Minister for Education, and I've been involved in this process for many years and been aware of its progress. I also want to acknowledge the work of Dr John Kay, the portfolio holder from the Greens on this matter, who has been working on this as a tireless advocate for public education in the Upper House. Gosford Public, Madam, Mr Temporary Chair, was established in 1865 and is situated in the central business district of Gosford, close to Brisbane Water. The future of the site has been discussed at length in recent years, particularly as negotiations over the redevelopment of Gosford Waterfront proceeded. Last year, the former Labor government engaged in a consultation process about the future of the school, including a survey that presented four possible sites for the relocation. The Joint High School's Agricultural Farm, Gosford High School, Victoria Oval Site, the North Gosford Education Site and Henry Kendall High School. The results of the survey indicated opposition to each of these sites, but the proposal to relocate Henry Kendall High School had the most significant opposition, with 17 per cent disagreeing and 60 per cent strongly disagreeing. Nevertheless, on the 17th of December 2010, the former minister, Verity Firth, announced that Gosford Public School would be relocated to a site within the present grounds of Henry Kendall High School. In May 2011, a motion was moved by the Greens in the New South Wales Upper House, and it recognised the concerns raised by parents on this matter and received unanimous support, including from the coalition benches. On the 17th of June, the minister's representative in the Upper House told Parliament the Minister for Education would be working with the member for Gosford, Mr Chris Holston, to review information relating to the decision. A week later, the Minister Adrian Pickley announced the conclusion of the review and confirmed the relocation. Parents, teachers and many other people in the community see this as a land grab for cash by the State Government and are opposed to the co-location. The Government claims there has been a review on this matter, and if that is the case, and I acknowledge that the Member uh, for Gosford and the Minister have reviewed this, let's make this review public. All of the documents involved from the former Government should be made public and any documents relating to the most recent review should also be on the public record so we can review the methodology, the assumptions, the details on other sites and look at the outcomes of the review. And in my view, Mr Temporary Speaker, this is an important part of the transparency process of this new government. I acknowledge the work of the member for Gosford. He has met with members from the school community, um, yet it's my understanding that neither the Gosford Public Action Group nor the Federation were consulted in detail through this process. Opposition to the proposal centres around several key issues. The special needs unit at the high school will be moved to make way for the new primary school buildings. Rather than the promised state-of-the-art building with the latest equipment, the unit is now to be situated in the refurbished technology rooms with a less than satisfactory access for students. Students will be forced to learn in conditions which are noisy and the playground areas may well be inadequate. Inappropriate and unacceptable co-location of a primary school and high school students onto one site. Two separate schools deserve two distinct sites. The co-location will forever block any potential expansion of either the school, despite predictions for 10,000 additional dwellings in the catchment areas. The building works on the high school to accommodate the primary school are being funded in part by the Building the Education Revolution money, which was slated for Gosford Public School, and the review of alternative locations was cut short without adequate consultation, and they remain in the dark, that is the community, as to what other possibilities were looked at and what the results were. Now, there is keen demand for this school, 10,000 new residents, the agricultural plot of Henry Kendall High School is slated for an agricultural facility. Uh, we have also understand that at the meeting of the Gosford Public School, the projections for the school enrolments were estimated to be 850 by 2014. There may well be over 1,200 students on that site if relocation goes ahead. Since the decision was announced in June, there have been a number of protests and there are statewide implications. We know the Boston Consulting Group report, commissioned by the previous government, found over $700 million of potential savings from courts forced closures and mergers. Our concern is that the government, in the current mood of budget cuts, will be tempted to take the advice on board across the state and repeat this. 
We're calling on this government to recognise that in the Upper House, the Save Gosford Public School Bill has been introduced. It's something which deserves support. It would prohibit the relocation. It would ensure consultation and require the Minister to attend meetings, which he has not done so far. I commend the people that have generated this petition. I encourage them to continue their campaign and encourage the government to re reconsider this decision. Thank you, we're, we're dealing with the petition of 10,000.